Happy Friday, third grade. Make sure you've got out your power up math test. Get your name at the top. You're of course gonna do all your facts at the top and at the bottom, our problem of the day says, a checkerboard has 64 small squares. There are eight squares along each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Makes sense because eight times eight equals 64. If a square checkerboard had only 49 small squares, then how many squares would there be along each edge? Think about um, which number times itself equals 49. And then that'll be your answer, blank small squares. All right, when you're done, put it back in your Friday folder and then take out your other test. Go ahead, press pause, because I'm moving on to our other test. You should have both your test and your answer form. Make sure you put your name at the top. Remember, all your work goes on your answer form, the rest of your work, um, and then we'll read our problems off of this test. Okay? Number one. It is 120 miles to li from Lillian's house to her grandmother's house. Lillian has only driven 15 of those miles. How many miles does Lillian have left to drive? So the whole thing... is 120. She's only driven 15, so how much is left? Missing piece, we gotta do a subtraction problem. So I'm gonna do 120 minus 15 to get that many miles, all right? Go ahead, work your subtraction problem, then get it over here in your box for number one. Number two, use the digits four, eight, and seven once each to make an even number greater than 800. Well, if it's got to be greater than 800, I know my 8 has to be first. Now, which digit do I have to put here to make the entire number even? The 4 or the 7? Put the even one there, and then put the digit you have left in your tens place. Number three says draw a pattern of dots to show the multiplication of five and six. So you've got to do five times six. So you need to do five rows, sorry, six rows with five in each row. All right, that's a great one to write C box. Number four, Seth wrote his birth date as 4 99 What month was Seth born in? That's A. And what year? That's B. Remember the year, if it's 99 like that, is really 1999. So for B, you'd write 1999. For A, what is the fourth month of the year? Number five, draw two perpendicular lines. Remember, perpendicular lines meet at a right angle. So you're just going to draw your two perpendicular lines. Notice I've got arrows on the both, on all sides of this because perpendicular lines go on forever and ever. Number six, this rectangle is four units long and two units wide. What is the area? Well, area equals our length times our width, so area is going to equal four times two. So what's four times two? That'll be your area. 
Number seven says, what fraction of the circle is shaded? Well, notice this is actually two pieces right here. One, two, three. So that's three pieces that are shaded. How many total are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But there's eight pieces there. So eight would be your bottom number. Number eight, change this addition problem to a multiplication problem. How many sixes are there? Do six times that number and then tell me, find the answer as well. Number nine. Says round 64 to the nearest 10, round 87 to the nearest 10, then add the rounded numbers. So 64. 6 looks at the 4. 87. 8 looks at the 7. Zero through four, don't get no more. So this one stays at 60. Five through nine, go up one time. So this is going up to 90. So go ahead and add those together. 60 plus 90. It's a nine there, not an eight. Number 10. Is the value of three nickels, four dimes, an even number of cents or an odd number of cents? So three nickels, which is 15 cents, and four dimes, which is 40 cents. Is that even or odd? Even or odd, the whole number. Number 11, the arrow is pointing to what number on the number line? Well, we've got a miss. We've got some. Um, we've got a number line here. We're gonna try one. Try two. Try five. Try ten. Try twenty. Try twenty-five. Let's try ten. Zero. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Ooh, it's not a forty. Sorry, there's a car driving by my window. All right, you can hear me now. Let's try twenty then. Zero. Twenty. Forty. Sixty. Eight. I mean, that says 100, not 80. Let's try 25. 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Well, yeah, so that would be 50. So you can just write 50. Twelve, go ahead and find the answer to those addition problems, or those multiplication problems. 13 says 45 is how much less than 54? So you got to do 54 minus 45. 14, you're going to find the square root of 49. What number times itself equals 49? Fifteen, you got to compare. 67 plus 22 is less than greater than or equal to 62 plus 27. Add those together. Is it less than, greater than, or equal to each other? Sixteen, we've got a missing number in an addition sentence. To find the answer, subtract. So do 99 minus 18. 17, we've got a missing number in a subtraction sentence. The missing number is second, so you still subtract. So do 656 minus 303. 18 says use words to write four and two thirds. And two thirds, that's a great C box one. 19, use digits to write six million. So six in the millions place. So 
remember you need your three zeros for your thousands and then your three zeros for your ones. So six million. And then 20, go ahead and subtract 922 minus 628. All right, excellent. When you're done, put it back in your Friday folder.